What's going on, Knuckleheads? GCAM Gaming here with another LEGO Legacy Heroes Unbox video for you. And today, by popular request, I bring you the Gorwell's Great Escape tier, whatever the heck tier this is. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Tier seven, the second to last node. I had to count it here live on video, right? So I did the last node with, with three star Gorwell on stream. And I got some requests, hey, can you do tier seven? No Gorwell, no gens, whatever. I'm gonna do it, let's get to it. So I'm gonna take out my Gorwell and replace it with Reed. This was the team that I beat this with initially. I'm gonna do it with Quincy. I think that he's relatively accessible. Plus the Quincy event is coming around, so it can give you a reason to farm up your Quincy. I could also try it with Blacktron Dwayne after this. No promises that it's going to work. But I should be able to do it with Quincy with relative ease. I'm using Ice Station Odyssey. Galaxy Explorer is a great set too. Spy Trek is really not bad either. I prefer Ice Station Odyssey. I like the extra speed. But I get it if you haven't invested in it. But this video, we're going to be using Ice Station Odyssey. Okay, so like any other node, the first thing you want to do is kill Aurora. It's just, it's the first thing you want to do. Don't throw your AoEs out. I probably should have saved that Dizzy for Redbeard, but whatevs. Pirates are definitely a little tougher to deal with. Ah, uh, man. Whew, this is going to be tough because who knows who Brutus is going to put that taunt on. I like to go after Willa next. I despise Willa. I think she's like the most annoying character in the game. Still haven't taunted yet. I'm saving that taunt for when Locus is a little lower or I have to save someone. Willa out. And you know what? Let's make sure that that taunt doesn't go on anybody and we'll stun Brutus there. So I took out Aurora. Obviously, that's the number one. And then I went for Willa and then try to stun Brutus so that he doesn't throw his taunt up on anyone. Now he's a little low and Redbeard is not a bad choice to go for. I'm going to throw these up. And I'm going to throw my taunt up because I need to protect Reed until somebody gets some some buffs going. Hopefully somebody throws some buffs up soon so I can actually get some healing on Reed. There we go. A little bit of those bonus attacks from pirates are going to help me out. Uh, okay, I'm going to take this opportunity to heal. He decided to throw his taunt on the healer. This is tough. I'm going to use my ultimate. I'm definitely going to take some uh, damage from Redbeard. Probably should have thrown Dizzy on Redbeard early on, but I didn't. But you know, it's not awful because I do get um, bonus heals when Redbeard does his bonus attacks. Of course, the one time I forgot to put Do Not Disturb on, I get text messages from Mrs. GKM herself the goat okay and now it's time to do work i kind of want to save the stun but i don't want to take the damage um i'm gonna save the stun though there we go okay that worked out i don't gotta worry about no counters make sure that uh, we're gonna throw that on him And I haven't stopped anyone. For, I haven't uh, put Buffamu down anyone yet. This hasn't seemed worth it to me right now. I want to really save that for when it's something, you know, with somebody who taunts, which, you know, has not come up. And now, luckily, I have it for, I have my stun and I have my taunt, my taunt blocker. Oh, man, this is going to be tough. Okay, let's stun Yeti because we don't want to deal with a payback in Yeti. Uh, and let's go after these auroras. Definitely want to throw that up. Throw this on that locust. Come on, baby, get the kill. All right, one aurora down. That's what we like to see. And then the other aurora just brings her right back. 
But that's okay, we're gonna take her back out. And I think they have to wait another turn. I'm not gonna heal yet. Okay, so I gotta take her out before she can bring back the other Aurora. Go with, surprisingly, Locus's strongest attack, which is the AoE. And... Bam, we're looking really good. Let's stun Yeti again. You know, we don't like Yeti to be doing payback and taunting. He's dealt with. We'll save Locus for the end. We'll taunt with our Locus. This is pretty much GG, no re. Bam. Pretty easy with Quincy. I'm gonna be honest, though. Quincy really... Just that little tiny bit of heal, which I think I only used, what, once? Does make the difference. But... Kelvin's heal made a big difference too. So I'm gonna actually go for another uh, round over here. I'm gonna try to do it with Dwayne. Listen, if I don't get it in one try, yeah, you know, yikes, whatever. I'm not gonna kill myself trying to get this with Dwayne. I'm already now basically wasting loot for the good of a video. But yeah, we'll do a little bonus vid on here if we can get it with Dwayne. Uh, Kartoski is also an option. Um, I probably would do better with Kartoski than Dwayne, but I want to go with the complete easy to farm, free to play uh, space to see if anybody can do it with them. Uh, because I feel like Kartoski's not necessarily, he's definitely easier to get than Gorwell and Jens. Uh, but not a lot of people have Kartoski, especially not at a usable star level. Again, I'm only going to give this one try, and this is going to be a little harder because I don't have a controlled way to heal. But same, same. We're going to go after Aurora first. Stun that, that woman. All right. I'm going to go for the same. Uh, well, Dwayne really gets rocked early on. I'm going to try things a little differently. I'm going to put that Dizzy on Redbeard so that I can AoE. And hopefully I can take her out. Bang, bang. Oh, man. I don't know if I can gold star this. No, no chance. Dwayne just dies too easily. But I can still probably beat this with uh, little to no issues. That Dizzy was really, really uh, big on Redbeard because I got to avoid a lot of counterattacks. But see those bonus attacks, man? They... They will heal you, especially if you're strong. I'm not gonna go out of my way and do a third attempt on this with Dwayne. I, I could probably clear this with just these four though, I think. And some of that bonus attacking. Okay, bum. let's get everybody's attack up. I haven't taunted yet. I don't want to yet. I like to save it for when I really, really need it. Because uh, it is, it's more than just a taunt. It's also a heal. Okay, and now this is probably going to be the hardest one to do with just the four. But, I've got my ultimate ready. I'm gonna spread some AoE disarm, hopefully on the two taunters. Uh, who got it? So I did not get it on Locust. Dag nabbit. But I can stun him. I saved my stun for just such occurrences. No stun for you, or no taunt for you. Uh, we're just gonna bring her back. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh, she's gonna bring her back unless. Oh, that's crap. Nice, but she was disarmed. All right, now I can throw out my taunt. 
And I can probably just tear right through this. <laughs> no payback on Yeti. Yikes. That stinks for them. Yeah, I mean, this is doable with Dwayne. Uh, my Dwayne is like a couple levels below everyone, but he is pretty close to maxed out. Um, yeah, Dwayne stinks. Uh, you could you could do it without Quincy, though. So, you know, uh, this is definitely easy, doable node. Just get your guys leveled up the best that you can. And take some notes from the first video. Quincy is definitely useful, but not required for this. I can continue to Silver Cup it easily with Dwayne. I'm not going to loot that garbage. Right? And the last node, though, you do need Gorwell or Jens, as you can see from the stream I did a few weeks ago. I did it with three-star Gorwell. And then I think Nooch did a video a while back where he did it with maybe a four or five star gens. But that's pretty much all I got for today, Knuckleheads. I'm gonna smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, ding that little bell for some notifications, and as always, remember to knuckle up.